Hey guys, it's Robert Grom here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a dodecahedron. Okay, some rules to remember are, always fold on a hard surface, and some simple origami knowledge like what a valley fold is and a mountain fold is. And materials needed <coughs> sorry, are 12 sheets of paper, square sheets of paper the same size, some good hands, and some patience might help too. So let's get to the video. Okay, now the first step to making a dodecahedron piece is to fold it, valley fold it in half. Unfold that. Now fold these edges to the middle. Like that. Now unfold. Take this right corner and fold it to that fold you had before. Now fold this over like that. I'll repeat that in case you didn't get it. Fold it over and fold it over like that. Now fold that to the middle. Now fold this down. Piece that. I'll do that one more time. So fold that up then fold this over fold this to the middle make a triangle to that line then turn it over do the same thing you'll notice that this piece overlaps over so just tuck it under there you're almost done with the first piece. Now fold this in half this way. Fold this down. Fold this over. And there's the first piece. Now go make eleven more, and I'll see. And I'll be back in a bit. Okay, I'm back, and now I have twelve pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. I'm going to put them to the side. Take 3. What I'm going to do is stick these edges into these pockets here, which you created when you folded them. I'm going to do that again, and then take this one. This is quite a little bit tricky for beginners, and just stick it in there. And that's your first triangle. Take 3 more, and make 1 more of those. And just like that. Now put these, put them close together like this, put this right there, take a piece, put this in here and make another triangle. Now turn it over, over and do the same thing to that last edge. Just like that. Now you have your base. Now take the pieces and continue this pattern that I'm doing until you used all your pieces and you finished it and make sure to keep making triangles if you have made a cube like I will, ma I will make one on purpose right now to show you if you make a cube um, then you failed if you make a cube like this and yeah Falls, cubes fall apart easier. Let me try that again. Make a cube like that. And you know you failed. So just find the cubes and take those out. And then that's a good way of finding out what you did wrong. If you did something wrong. And I did something wrong. So, see, um, not there. The cube is right there. Oh, it's missing one piece there, I think. No, that's not it. Hmm. Showing you my good deduction skills here. Right there, fixed it. 
There. Then the final piece can be the trickiest because they ten it tends to fall apart. So just hold it together. Hope for the best. Stick it in. And there. You've completed your Dodeki Hedron. Now the thing I like best about these is that you can impress people very easily. I have walked around school with one of these just holding it. People go up to me and ask me how I was able to create it. And the thing about how, like the four base, like this is a four base. If you had a five base, if you added another triangle, you would need 30 pieces. And then if you wanted to make it one more bigger, have a six base, you would need 900 pieces. I've built a 30, and I'm making my way up to a 900. So, if I make a 900, I'll guess I'll have to show you guys. So, see you next time, and have a groovy day.